All right, we're live. Welcome to Video Guys, Newsday Tuesday. Every Tuesday at two o'clock, we do a webinar explaining to you how the products we sell work. Now, on our webinars, today's webinar is gonna be about Live View, the Live View Solo. The Solo is available in two flavors. We're gonna go into that a little more in depth. We're going to this technology behind the Live View Solo and some of the areas you can use it and how it works. But before I get into the webinar, I wanna stress, we're live people. You can give us a call at 800-323-2325, Monday through Friday, nine to five, and we're here to help explain to you how these technologies work, what your prices are, what your availability is, but most important, how it can fit into your workflow and make your live videos or your post-production, your video editing better. So without further ado, let's get into this. The Live View Solo was a Video Guys Top 12 product of 2017. We're gonna pick up where we left off going into what makes this product so great. So, whoop. First of all, there's a promotion. Got to leave with the promotion. You always got to be selling, always be closing. Coffee is for closers. It's water, don't worry. We have two different models available. The Live View HDMI is $9.95. The Live View Solo, the, the, the traditional one is $14.99, but the big deal is you get their LRT service. That's their cloud-based decoding service for cellular bonding with a three-month free trial. That's really great. We've had a lot of people who said, I want to buy the Live View. But I really, this LRT service, what is it? Do I really need it? You need it. It's the secret sauce that ties everything together. It's how the bonding magic happens. So let's talk about LiveView a little bit. All right, LiveView was founded in 2006. There are over 6,500 LiveView units deployed throughout the broadcast world in over 80, custom, 80 countries. 3,000 customers, including the kind of people who put on Olympics and football games and elections and cover disasters in the, in the field, news organizations, you name it. Five million annual live sessions, 195 plus terabytes of monthly live transmissions. This is one that really blows my mind. 65% of live shots on broadcast TV are done using LiveView. This is really cool. It's the industry standard on this level and now it's coming down to a price that you and I can afford and that's really fantastic. All right. What market segments are there for LiveView? Who's the guy who should use a LiveView product? Well, first of all, there's always sports. You've got broadcast TV, security. There are people using these, you know, to check out what's going on in roads, highways, buildings, what have you. New media such as internet, social media, Facebook, YouTube, what we're on right now. And then there's different verticals like worship and education and uh, venue to, for playing bands and things like that. The, the Live View Solo, anywhere that you wish you said, boy, I wish I had an interconnection so I could live stream this production, this event, this accident, this magnificent thing, whatever's going on, Live View Solo is your solution. It's a bonded workflow. Now, a bonded workflow is different than just straight encoding up to the, uh, to, to the world, to Facebook or YouTube. You've got to go through the Live View LRT. So what you do is you put this unit, you put it either on your camera or you can take the output of something like a TriCast or a Wirecast gear or any other streaming device, put it into the LiveView Solo, then it goes up to the cloud. It uses two cellular modems, which can go into the modems a little bit later, but it bonds those signals together to guarantee you the highest possible quality and throughput. And then from the LiveView cloud, it serves the video out to YouTube, Ustream, Facebook Live, whichever you want. So here's a little video that I think explains it well. And this is really great. The guy did it in a parking lot. You gotta love this. It's true run and gun video work. I'm gonna grab the Live View Solo that we're actually broadcasting from today to show you we're using the SDI model connected directly to our camera. And we have two modems hooked right up here. The first modem is a USB modem from Verizon. The second is AT&T. We do have these modems in stock. You can get two of these modems with your LiveView HDMI or LiveView Solo purchase. And all you need to do is go to your cellular provider and get a SIM card to pop in there. There are modems available all around the world. LiveView has technology and encoders that are going to be used very heavily with hundreds of units being rented at the Winter Olympic Games in Seoul beginning tomorrow night. All right. I want to go into some of the techie geeky stuff. We're bringing this up full screen to really explain how this thing works. We put it in the middle of the video, I promise. We'll get some exciting stuff after this, but I thought we had to hear about the technology. 
The transport and bonding is the LRT. The LRT is their cloud-based decoder that takes the signal from the two modems and puts it together, or more modems actually for the higher end products. It uses packet sequences, dynamic forward error correction, complete feedback loop, and adaptive bitrate encoding to stream your overall video and to smooth out any peaks or valleys in your stream. So if we go into this, you'll see this little thing draw. It's a, here, here we go, we're streaming our video and oh no, we had a dip in the service, what's going on? Well, the LRT can help balance that to maintain the video quality, to, to see that it, it adapts to the bit rate. When the thing's bandwidth drops happens, well the good news about that is I have two cell modems, so hopefully the other one didn't. So more of the service goes to cell modem two than one. So the adaptive buffer ensures a lot of headroom so you can get the video on there. It's a little technical. It's as much as I want to show on that. Let's cut back to me. Let's talk about the live view solo. One of the things that we think it's important that people understand is what comes in the box. What comes with your live view and what do you still have to buy to get it working. So live view solo gives you the unit, a pouch. You're going to get power cords, HDMI adapter, two USB extender cables. If you see these cables, that's what we have going with. These extender cables are right here. They go to the modems, which you see over here. And that gets you your product. Oh, trying to get this going. Okay, cool. Live view solo units, portable broadcast quality encoding, less than a pound, internal three hour battery, cellular bonding, which we're gonna get into a better dis description explanation of that in a moment. It's super easy to use. You can have one with SDI and HDMI output or just HDMI input. It goes straight up to the cloud where you can go straight with one button right to Facebook, YouTube Live, or any CDN you want. It also supports RTMP streams natively. It's the first bonded solution for under $1,000. The HDMI version, you can stream to multiple destinations, and it's just a phenomenal, phenomenal product. So let's go into the promo first. Got to remind you, Live View Solo promo. You get the Live View Solo and three months free of their LRT service with the cloud bonding services. Now, one of the things that we find people struggle with, and, and that's why we want to take a little time in this show now, this is going to be the USB cellular modem portion of our broadcast because these modems are not as easy to get as we'd hoped they were. If you walk into your local Verizon or AT&T store and try to get a USB-based cellular modem, they're probably going to try to sell you what we would call a business hotspot. And that's not really what you want for this. You really want a cellular modem. So each, vend each vendor, each carrier, AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon, have their own cellular modems of choice. Now we have some of them available for you. And what I want to stress with the cellular modems I'm going to go out of order, is it can be frustrating to find them. So what do we have? All four carriers still have their cell modems in there. You can check out the modem tab on our Live View products. When you go to our website, we added a cellular modem tab, and that tab will give you links directly to each of the carriers where you can purchase the modem online, typically, or you can actually purchase it, a couple of them you can purchase directly from us, because we have stock in them. All you have to do is add the little SIM chip that you are going to have to either go to your carrier or purchase the SIM chip from your carrier online and they mail it to you, but you put the SIM chip inside the little modem and you're, and you're in business. Now, something we learned that was very interesting, I was at a conference with the Live View folks and it was, this was really eye-opening. I, I use Verizon, that's what my family's on, you know, you pick the plan you want, what have you. But they pointed something out that I thought was very important to share. Every Live View, be it a solo or their more expensive broadcast units, all feed into their cloud, and the cloud monitors the health of the signals and what's coming in. Well, lo and behold, they found that AT&T was the highest quality continuous stream. When they took the average stream at the throughput that they were getting, AT&T was the highest, T-Mobile and Sprint were a little bit lower, and the lowest was actually Verizon. I was like, I don't understand that because when I use my cell phone, I switched to Verizon because my Verizon coverage is so much better. And what I learned was is cell phone coverage and th the kind of data we need for video don't go hand in hand. Every cell tower isn't invented the same. They're not all equal. Apparently the Verizon towers don't have the level of data type circuitry and backbone in them that some of the other towers do. So the towers are what delivers the high data rates for the best possible video quality. So you want to experiment and there's some tools you can download that'll let you know just what the data rates are in your local area. But uh, 
Live View was very eye-opening, so I wanted to share that information. We're using Verizon and AT&T right now, so just so you know that. All right. Before we go into these cloud graphics, I want to get a close-up of the unit. Can we, can we cut to that shot so I can show the unit here? So you can see it's got the little screen. I want to show you that here are each of the modems. Here is the Verizon modem. Here is the AT&T modem. Little cable comes into the pack like that. It's nice and small. You can mount it on your hip. And this is a screen that you can see what you're doing. And it's flashing, so let's not leave it on that for too long. But I wanted to make sure we get some close-ups of that puppy. W one of the new features that Live View announced that's super cool is this is, for many people, an on-camera device. So it's great for run and gun. You mount it on your camera or you mount it on your hip and you got it plugged into your camera via HDMI. You're shooting, you're shooting, you're shooting. But you're going straight to Facebook or straight to YouTube or straight to the cloud. How do you add some additional content if you're running and gunning? Live View's got a solution. They've added graphics packs where now, through their cloud, you can serve graphics to your videos. Things like lower thirds, bugs, basic titlings, and stuff like that. They have two different levels of the Live View graphics cloud package. There's the basic version, and then there's the pro version. And if you're really interested in those, we can go more into it. I didn't want to dwell on those for too long because we're actually going to do our own dedicated webinar just on the Live View graphics mo modules in the future, and they're pretty cool and pretty spectacular. So it's a great way now that I can be running gunning with my camera and adding graphics. If you're doing news, sports, stuff like that, where you don't have access to a TriCaster or a Switcher or a VMix or a Sling Studio, it doesn't matter what you're going to hook up to the output of this to. Sometimes you're just on a camera, and these graphics. Super cool. We're very excited about that. There's different pricing packages, and we'd be happy to explain those to you. All right, Live View Solo, who's using it? This is not what kind of people. These are actual companies using Live View Solo today. And look at this list. You've got Facebook, you've got BuzzFeed, you've got Amazon, you've got several universities, including University of South California. Shout out to my daughter, Gabby, go Trojans. You got Fusion Networks, you got Fox News. They're using these things at the Olympics, Vice, everywhere, funny or die. It's a great way for run and gun shooting. It's small, it's lightweight, it's a great little unit. It's just, I, I can't get, all, we, we're in love with this product and we think if you try it, you'll be in love with it too because it's just that important from a technology point of view. This is something that we've all had a problem with and that is I'm in the field, I've got my camera, there's something great going on, how do I get it on the internet? Live View Solo, all the way baby. It's a fantastic unit and what do we have going for us right now? $9.95 with HDMI, $14.99 for, for SDI and HDMI, three months free of their LRT service, get a couple of cellular modems, we're giving you the links on how to find them on the cellular modem tab or we can sell you them ourselves, sign up for the data plan that best fits your needs, this doesn't go with your personal data account, you're going to have to sign up for a separate data plan. Get the plan that best fits your budget. Don't get an unlimited plan, they're gonna kill you. Figure out what you need as you go. You can change your plan every month as it meets your schedule. But, the oh, warning, tech warning, sorry. Gotta jump in on this one, I forgot. Don't get an unlimited data plan because those plans aren't really unlimited. What happens is, is after you reach a certain data point, they start scaling down your connection speed. So you get slower and slower throughput. So although an unlimited plan seems like a good deal for Live View Solo, it's a no-go. Sign up for the amount of data you're going to need so you get better quality. And thanks for reminding me about that, Courtney. I almost forgot to tell everyone about it. All right. Live View Solo. Call us. Videoguys.com. 800-323-2325. We have live people here. We're on the phone. We use this stuff. In fact, we produced a video a couple of weeks ago. With, uh, Ed and uh, Courtney did. We're out in the field with, with the Live View Solos. We're putting bundles together. We have a bundle together right now with the Live View Solo and the Roland. V1 HD product. We can add a Live View Solo into your TriCaster Mini or your Wirecast gear workflow. It's a great thing when you've got a production mixer, but you don't know if you're going to have access to the internet. As an example, maybe you're doing high school sports. You're out in the baseball field. Well, there's no Wi-Fi. There's no anything coverage on the baseball field. Plug your mixer into the Live View. Boom, you're on the air. Maybe all of a sudden you've been asked to do an outdoor graduation. There's no ability to get the video to the Wi-Fi. There's no internet cable to plug into. This is great. Maybe something happens in your corporate environment where you want to take it down to the uh, 
the floor of the assembly floor and show some people what's going on or getting into a new office building or something. Great for training in the field. If you want to drive around in a car and take good action shots and stream from it, we have people who are streaming from a car. Now, once again, if there's dead spots in your neighborhood for cell service, the live view is going to go dead. So practice, practice, practice. Make sure that shot's in a good area. But there's so many great uses for the live view solo. If you're into live streaming and you're doing productions on a regular basis and you don't always know where you're going to be doing them from, that you can't control the connectivity from the studio you're in, having a live view solo is a lifesaver and a game changer for you. I can't stress it enough. It's worth the money. I have so many customers calling me about this now that we've really, since it won the 2017 Best Award, our phones are ringing off the hook asking questions about it. Phenomenal product, phenomenal workflows. The customer satisfaction with the Live View Solo are tremendous. Guys, we get some tech calls. How do I find the modem? I can't get this modem going. That tends to be the calls. Once you get it set up and the modem's activated and your subscription's online and you're in the LRT, boom, this thing is fantastic. It just works, the video quality is phenomenal. I can't stress it enough. This was today's webinar, Video Guys Newsday Tuesday. Want to join us every Tuesday. We're going to tell you about some more stuff, but we're going to do a little better now. We're actually doing a production schedule, so let me tell you what's coming in the next few weeks. Next week, we're going to focus on House of Worship. On the 27th, we're going to go with encoders. Now, the live view was one. We've got a whole family of encoders for different kinds of situations and different kinds of needs. And then, 3-6, the big show, thanks to Eddie. I'm going to try to get him to get on camera. He's very reluctant, but he learned a lot about how to do this right. And that's solving audio mixing for the TriCaster. Our audio sounds much better. i got to thank Eddie. Eddie and Courtney, great job on this production today. It was fun doing it. They produce, the, they produce our videos using the products they se we sell. They edit the clips with the products we sell. We know how this stuff works. We're live people. 800-323-2325. Give us a call to learn more about video editing, about video storage, about live video production, and live video streaming. This is Gary from VideoGuys.com. Peace. Video Guys is available Monday through Friday. Give us a call at 1-800-323-2325. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter to stay connected with all of our updates. And you can like us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for our live videos. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.